Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill and I'm back with another figure review and we are doing the McFarlane My Hero Academia Udaraka. Why didn't I start up well with a figment this once this month? I've been wanting to pick her up for a while now. I'm so glad I did. But before we review the figure, we're going to take a look look at the box. There we got the My Hero Academia crew. Um, characters I wish they'd do is uh, this one and Sue, maybe. That's And maybe the little ball kid. That would be awesome if McFarlane decided to do more of these. I'm in love with these Figmas. And here we have Udaraka, Udaraka, and her, and the other name I can't pronounce, Funimation. And this is made by McFarlane, and here we have Todoroki, Red Riot, the kid who calls himself Red Riot. I forget how to pronounce his proper name, so please understand. And an image of the pretty Udaraka. She is a character, and now, that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get on to the review itself, okay? Since I've been wanting to do this. Take a quick look at Udaraka. When she's not on the flight stand, we're going to loosen the, flights, the uh, flight stand a bit, which can be a little bit tight. And here we have her in her in her heroic uniform with her regular hair on. And unlike the original, the uh, first Figma I bought, you can remove the hair piece. It's just a bit more a bit more tricky, I'd like to say. But you can do it without breaking the neck. Which is appreciated. Thank you, McFarlane, for addressing that issue. And we can give her her little helmet over her hair. And we're going to insert it very gently. And just because we're cautious, is worried a bit. But this is as far as I'm going to get it. But there we have her wearing her traditional battle helmet, which is pretty neat. And it's very easy to remove, which is good. I will probably display her with her hair piece on, but not with this. This is a year to remove. The hands, I'm not going to bother switching out the hands, okay? So we're going to get her back with her main hair piece. Because I really don't want to break this figure. I love it. I don't want to break it. <laughs> and now that's all there is to say. Now we're going to take a look at posability. She can... Oh, her hair fell out. Ugh. That is a bit of a problem until you get it right. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. She can, uh... Oh, come on, stinking hair piece. Sorry, I'm having that problem here. It's the one little nitpick. Trying to get the hair back into place can be a bit tricky on this figure. But she can bend her, bend her, her knee, which is good. She can bend her knee. Very good. Her arms can bend. I love that hinge joint. And, of course, the hair fell off again. Do forgive it. It is one little problem I have. The trick is trying to get it right into the hole itself and plop it in without breaking it. But there we go. Her hands can do a bend, which, are, which is very good. I love that. Her other arm can 
bend at the hinge joint, which I love that. Her arm can hinge like that. So can the other arm, which is really good to get her to some good poses. And yes, her eyes reminds me of A Nightmare Before Christmas, but the smile on her face and the way of the eyebrows is well painted along with the eyes. Otherwise, I love this Figma. This is my favorite My Hero Academia Figma now. And I'm going to enjoy keeping this in my collection. Because I love anime Figmas that much. And this is a good representation of Uraraka. So we're going to... And you can have her on her uh, stand. I forgot to show off the stand option. You can have her displayed on her stand or displayed on her fly stand. Or you can put her on the actual stand itself. Trick is plugging the peg into her heel. And yeah, that's a bit tricky. Let's see if I can do it on camera. And what do you know? You can you can actually do it. It's an option you can do, but I'm gonna have her displayed on her flight stand and keep this battle mask into the bag so I don't lose this accessory and put it in the box for safekeeping. Because like me, I keep my accessories well stored for these figures. And now we're gonna get Odorak off her flights off her regular stand and put her in the flight stand which that's where she's going to go in my collection like she's flying off the ground like she's hovering off the ground that's how I'm going to have her when I display her it makes the realism quite good for me and I love figures that nail that aspect completely Figures that can nail that kind of pose and look. I love it. And the included flight stand is well appreciated, McFarlane. You nailed this character 100%. Where I got this? I got this from Amazon for only 20 bucks. That's how much I paid for this. And you could probably find it. If you can find it for less, good for you, but I don't mind paying 20 bucks for a figure this good. And this is Eddie Hill moving on and rock on and rock out.